This is part two of the last video I just made that was 46 minutes long about the tree of knowledge of good and evil and the three books that were a part of it. Um, I am on the third one right now, which is the Nag Hammadi, which I am going to start reading about the tree of life. The creation of paradise on page 210. Then justice created paradise. Wait, hold on. Um, mm -hmm. Paradise is beautiful and is outside the circuit of the moon. And the circuit of the sun is a land of pleasure, which is in the east in the rocky region. Desire dwells in the middle of the beautiful, stately trees. The tree of life, eternal as it appeared to be, by the will of God, is in the north of paradise to give immortality to the souls of holy people who will leave their poor mottled bodies at the end of the age. The tree of life looks like the sun, and its branches are lovely. Its leaves are like the leaves of the cypress. Its fruit is like a choder of white grapes, and its height reaches the sky. This is what the Nag Hammadi says about the tree of life. And then it says, next to it is a tree of knowledge, which is endowed with the power of God. It is glorious to, as the moon shining brightly, as its branches are lovely, its leaves are like fig leaves, and its fruit is like a bunch of good, delicious date dates. The tree of knowledge is in the north of paradise, to arouse the souls from demonic stupor, so that they might come to the tree of life, eat of its fruit. And then it says, condemn the authorities and their angels. This is just the, this is not the original Nag Hammadi. This is the international edition, probably. I don't think this is the original. I don't know if they had one before this or an original before this, but this is the only one that I saw that was on the internet for sale was the international version. On the next page, on the origin of the world, the impact of this tree is described in the holy book. You are the tree of knowledge, which is in paradise, from which the first man ate. You opened his mind, and he loved his female partner, and condemned other strange figures, and he loathed them. After this, the olive tree sprouted, and it was to purify kings and high priests of justice who were to come in the last days. The olive tree appeared through the light of the first Adam, for the sake of the oil of anointing that kings and high priests would receive. This is what I have so far, comparing the Nag Hammadi, which talks about the tree of knowledge being good in some ways, um, you know, good looking. It says the branches are lovely, and that the moon shineth brightly. Endowed by the power of God, of course, these the word term God. They they don't have the name at this moment right here, like it should. I noticed I just paused the video and it said three thirty three on it. I've been getting a lot of strange time synch synch what is it synchronicities, so I haven't quite figured out what it all means yet. Scene two 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 three 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 four 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 two twenty two twelve twelve twenty one twenty one or was it no it wasn't twenty one twenty one twelve twelve for sure two two no it was one two two one one two 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 strange times that I keep saying on the clock for some reason. Not quite sure why. So, the Bible talks about the tree of knowledge being, uh, you know, for knowledge of good and evil, and then the Bible, God, whoever that may be, um, since it doesn't say in the King James Version Bible, can't tell exactly what the name may be, because in the Nag Hammadi, God is uh, the Bible God, and there's more than one um, Bible God. And the one who claims to be Yaldabaoth is the one who, I mean, who is, um, he's the one that is the serpent with the lion head, and he is the one that claimed that there are no other gods but him, and was a jealous god. 
and that is in the Nag Hammadi. Hang on. Um, I will just be mentioning it or making another video another day, possibly tomorrow, about that because I'm just going into it. Of course, I'm new. I'm not a professional when it comes to knowing this book inside out. Um, I have many different uh, spiritual books I haven't quite read too much of. I just kind of skimmed through or read a few pages, like 5, 10, 20, 30 pages. But yes, I have the Krishnu, what is it, the Vedic scriptures of one, only one specific book. I have um, the Bhagavad Gita, Vita, I think it's called, Self-Realization, which are the Hindu religion. And the Nag Hammadi, King James Version Bible, Satanic Bible, by Anton LaVey. And Secret Book of John, as well as many, many other Christian books, which I probably won't be reading, but I might skim through and read a few pages. Who knows, if I do finish reading a book and I find something that is not known to the public really or that too many people don't know about it then I shall share it here if I feel it's necessary by the divine higher powers or my own will I do hope to be a person not only of information but of, of uh, spiritual change and enlightenment upon this earth because I do want to help guide people I want to help guide myself into love and harmony the way things should be and based between that and reality are two totally different things. But um, one person who has inspired me the most on YouTube, her name is Abby Normal. She is an inspiration and she is a shamanic healer. She works with um, Lucifer and many other archangels as well as she works with what she calls God. I'm not sure what God she talks about or which one she... Um, you know, praises, but she works with Lucifer, and she is a great healing help to my soul and my spirit, and gives me hope and peace uh, to live another day. And so, if you guys should check out Abby Normal, she is um, someone who is also a channeler like I am, who can channel entities and speak to them telepathically. We both share the same gift by the creator. And so, Abby Normal for sure. And, yeah. Okay. I'm going to go for now.